Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl everyone called Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother gave her a basket packed with homemade bread and soup. I want you to take this food to your grandmother, because she is ill. She said, "Now go straight along the path through the woods, and do not talk to any strangers." Little Red Riding Hood started on her way to grandmother's house. Soon she met a wolf. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood. Where are you going this fine day? Asked the wolf. I am going to grandmother's house to give her some bread and soup because she is ill," said Little Red Riding Hood. "And where does she live?" asked the wolf. "Deep in the woods at the end of the path," said Little Red Riding Hood. "You should pick some flowers to cheer her," said the wolf. "Yes, I will," said Little Red Riding Hood. She skipped along the path until she found some wild flowers. She ran here and there, gathering them. Meanwhile, the wolf ran straight to grandmother's house and gulped the old woman down. Then he pulled on her nightgown and cap and crawled into her bed. When Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door, he drew the bed covers up to his chin. Lift the latch and come right in," he called in his softest voice. Little Red Riding Hood opened the door and came in. "I have brought you bread and soup, grandmother," she said. "Come closer, my dear," said the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood walked closer. "Oh, grandmother," she said, "what big ears you have!" The better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, grandmother, what big eyes you have! The better to see you with, my dear. Oh, grandmother, what big teeth you have! The better to eat you with! Snapped the wolf, and he jumped out of bed and gulped down Little Red Riding Hood. Then the wolf fell asleep in grandmother's bed. His loud snoring could be heard by a woodcutter who was passing the cottage. That does not sound like the old woman," said the woodcutter. "I must see who it is." He stepped into grandmother's cottage and saw the sleeping wolf. Quickly, the woodcutter cut the wolf with his axe, and out jumped Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother safe. And sound.